the four most common causes of upper thigh pain or femoral nerve pain. If you experience pain in the upper front part of your leg, this may indicate that there is a problem with the nerves in your legs. You see, if one of the main nerves in this area gets compressed, pinched or damaged, you may begin to experience burning, a sharp pain, stabbing, a dull ache or a muscle spasm in the upper thigh muscles. But the pain may sometimes extend down the outer side of your knee and around to the side of your buttocks. So let's take a look at what may be going on here. As you can see in this image, you have two nerves called the femoral nerve and the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve in the upper part of your legs. These nerves run up through the thigh muscles, through the hip and the pelvis and into the lower part of your back between the L2 and L4 nerve roots in your spinal cord. What usually happens here is something pinches, compresses or pushes against one of these two nerves, causing pain, numbness and tightness in the quadricep muscles of your upper thigh, and this sensation can also extend down to your knee. If the nerve on the side of your thigh is pinched, this can also cause pain that radiates up into the side of your butt, as you can see here. Now, if you do have a compressed or a damaged nerve, it can be extremely painful and you may find it difficult to walk or stand up straight and one of the legs may be stronger than the other. Unfortunately, if this is left untreated, femoral or lateral femoral cutaneous nerve pain can lead to permanent injury or damage to the nerves, causing a complete loss in movement or sensation in the leg. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the most common causes of nerve pain in the upper thigh, how to test for it and how it's usually treated. I'll also share some supplements that can be used to ease nerve pain in the legs. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so be sure to speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first and most common cause is a disc problem in the spine. Throughout your spine, there are these discs in between your vertebrae, which act like cushions or shock absorbers to keep your spine mobile and flexible. Unfortunately, in many cases, these discs can start to bulge outward because of spinal problems, injury or simple wear and tear as you get older. This bulging or herniated disc puts pressure and pinches the root of the nerves in the top part of your leg, called the femoral or lateral femoral cutaneous nerves. This triggers pain down the front of your upper thighs, can cause muscle spasms, tingling, burning, the sensation of water running down the leg, electric shocks, shooting or stabbing sensations. Also, if you have arthritis in your spine, the spinal canal can become more narrow, which can also pinch the nerve. Another common cause of femoral nerve pain is number two, an injury in your hip or pelvis. If the bones, joints, ligament or connective tissue in your hip or pelvis get damaged or they fracture, this can put pressure on the nerves in your upper leg. For example, if you have arthritis in your hip, these small bony lumps called bone spurs can grow wherever there's damage and this directly puts pressure on the nerves causing your pain. If you've noticed stiffness or aching in your hip joint or you have difficulty getting out of bed in the morning, speak to your doctor or manual therapist to investigate the cause as this may be causing your upper thigh pain. Here's another example, if there's a strain or a tear in your inguinal ligament, this can also compress the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve causing your symptoms. When this particular side nerve is pinched, this condition is called Meralgia Parasthetica. Tight clothing, belts, wearing work belts or gaining a lot of weight can put a strain on this ligament and nerve, triggering moderate to severe pain through your thigh, down to your knee and up around the side of your butt. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Cause number three is peripheral artery disease. Another potential cause of upper thigh pain is a buildup of plaque within the blood vessels of your leg, which causes them to narrow. This will block the normal flow of blood which should be flowing to your muscles, causing tension, stiffness, pain or entrapment of the two nerves in your upper leg. 
If you've sustained high blood pressure for a long period of time, this can raise the risk of narrowing of the arteries, so speak with your doctor about this if you have cause for concern. And the fourth but less common problem is a muscle injury or tendonitis. Another cause of thigh pain is simply having an injury or inflammation in the tendons. This usually occurs near the kneecap or the hip and causes pain up through the thigh muscle. This is very common in people who regularly exercise and strain themselves, or the pain can also be triggered from micro tears or scar tissue in the muscle itself. A physiotherapist should be able to easily diagnose this condition. This particular problem can be treated with cross fiber massage, which helps to reduce the scar tissue or fibrosis within the muscle after an injury. And finally, in the interest of giving you a complete idea on what can cause upper thigh pain, I'd also like to share some of the rarer causes that can trigger femoral nerve pain. 1. Ascites, which is leaking of fluid from the liver that stretches the abdominal wall and pinches the lateral cutaneous nerve. 2. Diabetes, high blood sugar and insulin can cause nerve damage or neuropathy in any of the nerves in the legs. 3. A synovial or ganglion cyst on the hip joint or the lower back can also pinch the nerve. 4. Infections that cause inflammation around the nerve can cause problems. 5. Complications from radiation therapy. And 6. A groin hernia is where fatty tissue or a part of your intestine can poke through your groin and press against a nerve. Now that you know all this, let's take a look at how to find out which problem is causing your pain. In order to properly treat upper thigh nerve pain, it's very important that you visit your doctor and discuss all of the different potential causes to get a proper diagnosis. Your doctor may refer you to have an electromyography. This is a very simple test which measures the electrical activity of your muscles to see exactly what nerve is causing your pain. You may also be sent for an ultrasound, an MRI or an X-ray to check for tumours, broken bones, nerve or muscle damage. Treatment Options If the pain has been diagnosed to be caused by the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve or the femoral nerve, you may be treated with a nerve blocking medication or an injection to help ease the pain and symptoms. If you have a fracture in your lower back, your hip or your pelvis, a cyst, a bone spur or a hematoma, you may require surgery to correct the problem and take the pressure off the nerve. Physical therapy and stretches may also be used to increase the range of motion in your back, your hips, legs and knees to ease up the pressure on the nerves. Or if you have a muscular problem, the use of massage techniques and a massage gun can help to break up the scar tissue and relax the muscle. Now, let's talk about a few supplements that may also help to alleviate nerve and muscular pain in the upper thigh. Number one is benfotiamine, one of the best natural remedies for treating nerve pain. This is a fat soluble version of vitamin B1, which can penetrate deep into the nerve tissue by absorbing through the fatty outer layer called the myelin sheath. This can help to restore blood flow to the nerve, reverse free radical damage from high blood sugars and inflammation, and help to switch off neuropathic pain. A common dosage is 300 milligrams of benfotiamine twice per day. Number two is alpha lipoic acid. You can take a supplement of 600 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid three times per day to help heal and repair your nerves. This is a natural antioxidant that's often prescribed in Germany to reduce symptoms like pain, tingling and prickling sensations in the feet, the legs or the hands. Alpha lipoic acid improves blood flow to the nerve, helping to nourish them and heal them from oxidative damage. It also helps the electrical signals travel through the nerves to your brain. Supplement number three are electrolytes. If your thigh pain is muscular in nature from a spasm, cramp, tear or tendonitis, it's recommended to start loading up on electrolyte minerals. You can purchase a high quality electrolyte powder and drink one scoop in 16 ounces of water twice per day to help alleviate muscle tension. Please make sure that your chosen brand contains at least 1000 mg of potassium citrate, 100 mg of magnesium citrate and 75 mg of calcium lactate. And finally we have cod liver oil. 
Whenever there is pain, injury or inflammation in the body, it's very important to help lower the inflammation by loading up on healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Virgin cod liver oil from Iceland is one of the richest sources of DHA and EPA, which both help to ease pain and swelling wherever it may be in your body. You also definitely want to cut out inflammatory omega-6 vegetable oils entirely, like margarine, soy, canola, cottonseed or corn oils, which will worsen your pain. As these cod liver oil supplements are fairly expensive, if you wish you can simply get lots of omega-3s by eating canned sardines, wild salmon, shellfish and grass-fed beef. If you'd like to learn more about treating nerve pain at home, go ahead and tap on this video on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today, and as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.